up everybody welcome back to lift vector the build i want to show you today is the ft spear i've been working on this for a long time the whole goal with this build was to equip the craft with a matek flight controller to have waypoint missions return to home loiter all that fun stuff and i've been doing testing this past week and it's been going well i have it running waypoint missions and I went out two and a half miles, two and a half miles yesterday, which is awesome. I have it equipped with dual cameras, front and rear, switchable. She has a Matek F411 WTE flight controller running iNav 6.1, a 40 amp ESC with a 35, 36, 1250 kV motor. It's a big motor. The VTX is the AKK FX2 Ultimate, and I'm pretty happy with the performance of this so far. Yeah, the goal today is to run a mission and show you the mission as it runs. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. This is my first time putting a flight controller in a fixed wing, and this is my second FT Spear build. There's another video on my channel, you can check it out. That's just a full line of sight build. Uh, the Matek GPS locks on really well. It is running a 3200 milliamp CNHL 30C discharge 3S battery. I did put a beeper on it. It balances out with a Hero 4 Silver on the nose. It's an older camera, but I'll stabilize the footage and combine it with everything else. Let's get GPS lock and load the mission. There's GPS lock, and we're gonna load mission two. All right guys, we got the mission loaded. We're gonna do an auto launch, and we're gonna go from there. Auto launch, raise the throttle. All right, I'm gonna take over control. It's in angle mode. It's gonna cruise back to here. All right, we're in manual mode. And we're in acro mode. All right, we're on angle. I'm gonna put it in loiter mode. We're in loiter mode. I'm going to activate the mission now. Two way point, one out of seven. Okay, mission is started. We're on our way. 17 satellites, 35 miles an hour. Waypoint two. Video is holding up nicely. Waypoint three out of seven. 
She should be climbing a bit now. Yep. Yep, VTX is at 25 milliwatts. We are about a half mile away from the home point. And we're heading to waypoint four out of seven. And we're bleeding some altitude and speed. Waypoint. Five out of seven, we're on our way. Waypoint six out of seven. We've gone a total of two miles in the flight, but not the mission, just the overall flight. All right, she's coming into the last waypoint. Let's check her out. Holding the waypoint for 40 more seconds, and then the mission will be finished. All right, I'm going to get back in the goggles and uh, there's the end of the mission. I just took over control. And we're in manual mode. Do a, let's do another pass. All right, we're going to bring her in for a landing. She's in one piece, let's go check her out. There's the stats. Have them up on the screen for a little bit. We're walking to the landing site. Pretty sure she's in one piece. She's looking pretty good. Let's check her out. Yep. Stop this recording here. That was about seven waypoints for that mission. And we'll look over the stats later. It took a long time to figure out all the INAV stuff, but man, she's running pretty good and I haven't even done an auto tune. But yeah, if you guys like the video, you know, give it a like and comment if you have any questions about the build, you know, I'll, I'll try to help you out. But I mean, this thing's running really well. I'm having a good time with it, so. Not too bad for four pieces of foam board from the dollar store. 
and then you know all the electronics obviously but thanks for watching the video uh, i do builds like this and fly quads and hope to do a lot more so please subscribe and like and i'll be back have fun guys